Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to turn any song you want into a ringtone for your iOS 17 device. This is a very easy method. Anyone can do it. It is free. You don't need a computer. All you need is your iPhone and a couple of apps. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot so the first thing you will need is an app called ringtones maker and then you will need garage band now the garage band app will be needed only to export the ringtone you don't need to use it for other things so here's the ringtone maker app this is the app right here and it's very easy to use you simply tap the plus button and you will get a couple of options here so you will have import from video so if you have any videos on your camera roll that have a sound you want to use a ring as a ringtone you can import that it will just export the sound of course then you can upload from pc and you also have a more button where you can record something you can import from apple music or you can import from your files or other apps that you might have on your device where you have different sound files saved so let's import from files here so here we have like a song we want to use for this case so we tap right there on the song and what we can do now is edit this song to turn it into a ringtone so of course we can tap it there and tap on the clip button and this allows us to clip the song so usually a lot of songs will not start like we want to at the beginning so if you just have like maybe a couple of seconds you want to cut out at the beginning of the song you can do that and you will also be able to cut here the end of the song so you know on ios ringtones are only 30 seconds long you can clip this to be 30 seconds or if you don't want to do that you can just leave it as it is because either way when you export it via garage band it will be cut to 30 seconds now here you can clip it as i said and then you can also enable a fade in if you want to enable a fade in you can do it from here and you can choose how many seconds you want the fade in to be and click the done button now click done here here's the file we have it now ready all we have to do now is tap on it and tap the make button so tap right there and right here we'll see garage band you tap on it it shows you garage band if you don't see it you can just tap on the more button and it will be on the list right here so tap on garage band and this will redirect us to the garage band app where all we have to do is just export the file we just created so now we are on GarageBand and there it shows the file we just exported from the app. All we have to do now is force touch on the file and tap the share button. Once you have done that, you will get the ringtone button. Tap on ringtone right here. You can see it says it will be adjusted to 30 seconds. So if it's longer than 30 seconds, it will be automatically cut by GarageBand. So just tap continue here and you can enter a name if you want to for the file. If you don't want to change the name, just tap on export. And now it will just create it and of course have it saved under your ringtones as easy as that you can see is exporting the ringtone now all we're left to do is go into the settings and set it as a ringtone so now we're on the settings app so let's go to sounds and haptics let's go to ringtone and there we have at the top the file we just saved and of course we can just select this and set it as our ringtone from here as you can see, it's as easy as that creating a custom ringtone and adding it to your ringtones on iOS 17. Now, whenever you want to remove that, it is actually pretty simple. Just swipe here like this. You will get a delete button. You can just go ahead and delete the ringtones that you have created. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The links that you need will be right down below in the description of the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next video.